Hello, I am so excited that you guys are here. My name is Jenna Smith, and I am an online health and lifestyle coach, founder of Team BU. And I just wanted to thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your busy lives to learn more about me, about our team, and about what I do as an online health and lifestyle coach. So this video is video one of three, and I'm gonna be jumping right in and sharing a little bit more about who I am, how I got started with coaching, and wrap up this first video with what we do as coaches. So I'm here to share my heart with you guys, to communicate what this whole coaching opportunity is, who I was before coaching, who I've become because of coaching, and open up that door for you in case this is something that you want to be a part of. So you have the opportunity to join our team as a new coach on Team BU, and we have incredible new coach training mentorship programs also. So basically what I'm here to do is educate you on exactly what this opportunity entails, open our virtual doors to our team, answer your questions, maybe some hesitations, and get to know each other and see if this path is right for you. So I really don't want to bring people into this community who don't want to be a part of it, right? So at the end of the day, I'm not here to push you in any direction, right? But if you are here watching this, I saw something in you. We've been in contact before. You saw something in joining our team or about the coaching opportunity and starting your own business. And I just want you to know that you are capable of great things, okay? So throughout this little video series, I will be 100% transparent, answering questions as they arise because I will be the first to admit that I had so many hesitations, so many concerns before that I actually dove in and started my own online health and wellness coaching business. So the, first, the, the one thing I can say though is the only thing I regret is not joining sooner. So I will say this, come in with open with an open mind and really just hear what coaching is and see if this is something that you could do that you could see yourself and your life with or in because this again this has changed my life and I've taken a complete 180 and ultimately I feel this would be absolutely selfish <laughs> if I kept this opportunity to myself in my mouth and I would be doing people a disservice by not allowing them or presenting them um, this business opportunity to change their mindset to you know improve their physical health their inner health their mental health their body image their finances their relationships and ultimately their future so I'm super excited. I'm gonna jump right in and share a little bit more about me and who I was before coaching and where I am now on, on my growth journey. So I've been a coach for about three years and I cannot believe that. <laughs> so many things have happened throughout this journey and it has gone truly so, so fast. So I'm gonna kind of take it back to the beginning and share a little bit about how I got into coaching even before that, because when I was in college, I suffered or struggled a lot with stress and anxiety and just a very, very poor mindset. Um, I was, you know, four hours away from home. I was, I'm very much a homebody. So that, you know, had a very big toll on me. I had a very demanding career in the medical field. And for the first time when I was in college, I realized that anxiety was a real thing um, on top of just stress and that ultimately led to an eating disorder and I struggled for many years in college probably three of the five years I was in college um, with that eating disorder and body dysmorphia and I would use food and alcohol as vices and numbing agents to numb that anxiety to numb that stress or even that depression, and it affected everything in my life. It affected my relationships. Um, it affected my memories, right? Um, I would go to the gym for hours a day on end, but I wouldn't go to the gym and lift and have this you know, awesome routine or regimen. I would go to the gym and spend hours upon hours on the treadmill or on the elliptical, just literally wasting away my body because I was not eating to fuel my body. And it, it took 
a couple years and I actually had to sit down um, with my, my dad sat me down and, you know, we really talked through, um, you know, the path that I was going down and I was ultimately killing myself from the inside out. And there was that light bulb moment in that conversation, my senior year of college or my super senior year of college. And that light bulb moment for me that I had to make a change. And I did that. I, I um, started to, you know, really focus on my self-worth and my self-love and my mindset. And it took baby steps, right? This wasn't an overnight thing. Um, but the reason I want to share a little bit about that college experience is because when coaching was presented to my life, into my life, it was about three and a half years after college. And I was, I overcame that eating disorder. Um, I overcame all of those limiting self-worth beliefs for the most part. We all still have our struggles. Um, but I, I found myself falling back into that same mindset and that same mental state of just going through the motions of life and falling into that anxious state all the time, having a career as a radiation therapist, a very high stress career. Um, and on top of, you know, those, those mental feelings, the anxiety and the stress, I would wake up every single morning just asking myself, like, is this it? You know, I, I felt like a robot in my life. I, felt like I was going through the motions every single day. Um, my boyfriend at the time, who is now my husband, we, we didn't even have two pennies to rub together, but we had two full-time jobs and we didn't have children yet. And we didn't even have our, our Billy yet. <laughs> and we were struggling financially and we were juggling credit cards for, for gr groceries or to put gas in our gas tank. And that fear of of our future when it was just us two at the time that fear of bringing children into this world or or just making it right in in our lives how were we, we going to be able to do that if we weren't if we were already struggling now and we were struggling with supporting ourselves and it really really was just a very low point in in my life mentally again and as i am not a social media fan <laughs> i found myself following this this woman on social media i kept going back to her page um i had no idea who she was but i felt like i was getting to know her and for me she she was offering you know through her sharing her story and sharing her journey I just felt like one, I knew her, but two, she had this freedom and she had this sense of happiness about her life. And she was around my age. And I'm just like, what does she do for a living? <laughs> I, I, you know, I thought as you, you know, grow up, you go to college, you get that degree and you work that degree until you retire. And then, then your life starts, but that, that's just so backwards. Right. And for me, I, I wanted that, that freedom. I wanted to create my life how I wanted to live it. I didn't want to worry about money. And I truly still needed to find that balance between fitness and nutrition. It wasn't that I totally overcame those hurdles. Um, I still was on that, that fitness and health journey too, you know, in the intermit of it all. So I really just wanted that positive environment and that, that, state of feeling free within my life and not going through the monotonous day to day, just feeling like that hamster on the hamster wheel, right? And to continue on with my self love and my self worth journey that I've been devoted to, you know, for those past few years. And it just felt like I was, you know, beating myself in, in the head because <laughs> I was just so unhappy, but striving, you know, to find that happiness. So for months, I followed this girl and I let the fear get the best of me, right? Have, have you ever felt that way to where you think like, gosh, you know, this would be so amazing. Like I would love to have that in my life or I would love to do this or do this or, you know, then you get bombarded with your, your brain, you know, catches up with your thought and you're like all the hesitations and the fears and the what ifs come, right? And then your guard comes up and then you don't do anything because the fear of all those things of what if or what could go wrong or what could happen 
comes into your mind, right? And at that point in my life, I went through months of that hesitation and, you know, staying, staying in that ebb and flow and, and really just, you know, not making that change. But when my fear of staying the same was greater than just trying out and maybe making a change, that's truly when I knew I needed to do something. And being at that all time low of lows again, allowed me to realize that this was not the future that I wanted for the rest of my life. And it wasn't that I went into coaching, like I'm going to leave my job and be super successful like that. Like I didn't believe I could do that yet, but I saw this opportunity arise in front of me where I was able to build a passionate business revolved around something I was very passionate about fitness and also, you know, get healthy and, and continue to work on myself, right? I was on that self-love, that self-worth journey. My mindset, I strongly, strongly believe your mindset is your life. And to know that I could possibly work on myself and empower others and inspire others to work on themselves with that other factor of potentially you know, working from home and creating a flexible schedule and being my own boss, it, it sounded too good to be true, <laughs> but I went all in. I, I was like, you know what? Let's try this out. What's the worst that could happen? And when I stepped into coaching, it was just as much to change my own life as it was to inspire and help other people. I, I had a career in the medical field. I have a passion for helping people and for serving others. So it just seemed like this incredible business venture with no background in business that I was just so excited to, to dive right into. So I'm able to use my past and to use my struggles and to, to have those dreams and aspirations and all of that together turned into my purpose to help and inspire other people to dream bigger and to live their life on their own terms. So you're probably wondering like, how did you do all this? <laughs> you know, like if you had a full-time career, like how did you get started in coaching? What does that kind of look like? Um, how did you overcome that, you know, robotic monotonous life? And I could say 100% that coaching has allowed me to live my passion and to be able to call this work, working on me and my mind and my health, coaching has done everything for me. And when I started, I will say I had no idea how I was going to fit this into my life. Um, our life was chaos. Um, I worked 40 plus hours a week as a radiation therapist. I had an hour commute. We, or I had my father-in-law living with us. He had his, his dad living with us. Um, I was the maid of honor and my best friend's wedding then recent or soon after got engaged myself. Um, and I thought it was the busiest time of my life. Like, how am I going to add something else to my plate? But what I found is that it really was a self growth journey. And I knew that, yes, I wanted to be a sponge. I wanted to learn. I wanted to pay this forward, but I also knew that I was on my journey first and I needed to, you know, find that balance for me and for me to be that better person for others. Right. So when I got started, I only committed an hour, maybe two a day to coaching. And I'm going to dive deeper into that in the videos to come of, you know, the time commitments, but just know having a full-time career and starting this business as a part-time or as a hobby is 100% doable. I built a successful business, was able to leave my career in the medical field by solely working an hour to two a day as a side business or as a part-time business. And I had no following when I got started, <laughs> but I knew I had to start somewhere. And by that starting somewhere, that is what allowed me to leave my full-time job. And for this to be, be able to call this my full-time career, and to pay for our wedding in cash and to reno renovate a complete foreclosure that I'm standing in right now that is now our dream home and our first home. And this truly, truly comes from consistent and persistent work over the past three years and working on my dreams and my vision 
and helping other people work on theirs too. So coaching ultimately was never another item on my to-do list. It was always an outlet for me. So I just wanted to share a little bit about my story, my journey, and how my entire life has been evolving because of coaching, right? I started in a place of fear and hesitation and doubt, thinking this was too good to be true, and almost feeling guilty or resentful that I was leaving a career or that I not leaving a career in the medical field yet, <laughs> but that I was starting or that I was feeling those feelings of unfulfillment, you know, as a radiation therapist. I I resented that in the beginning, but I knew that, you know, if you're a teacher or a radiation therapist or a nurse or, you know, someone that has a, a servant's heart or that has a, a career in the service industry or, or healthcare field, don't let that allow you to feel guilty if you're looking for something more for yourself because I know that my heart lies with helping people and I wanted to work that passion but I also saw this as a way to help people with their preventative health and their mental health and their life goals so I'm helping people in a whole different realm of of healthcare in a, in a sense um, and to be able to pay this gift forward it's absolutely the the best opportunity and the most fulfilling career that I could have imagined. So this is what I want to kind of turn into um, is what we do as coaches. <laughs> so what I, you know, I want you to kind of think about maybe you just want to to work on your health and fitness, right? That's great. Coaching is that accountability that you need because you're able to help lead other people, you know, if you help clients or if you're, if you help other coaches within your team, but you want to work on your own health goals, that's awesome. Coaching is for you, <laughs> but maybe it's more financial, right? Maybe, maybe you're looking for extra income every month or you want to pay off your student loans or just to be able to have that extra cushion every month to go to the grocery store and not juggle those credit cards, right? And maybe you're looking to get out of your current day job, then coaching is definitely an option because you'll be able to add in that extra income, number one, but be able to see what this business has to offer because you will be your own boss. And that's incredible that you could always give yourself a raise. <laughs> and maybe it's just the community. You love fitness, you have a passion for a healthy lifestyle, you wanna pay that forward, and you're really looking for that community and that support piece, and you just wanna connect with people on a deeper level, level, or maybe just have some adult adult interaction, right? If you're a mom or a stay-at-home mom or even a work-from-home mom, you just want something for you, then that's incredible. Or maybe it's a little bit of everything. And that's what it was for me. And that's, it's incredible. It's, that's amazing because I'm so happy that you're here. I'm glad that you're looking into this. And that was a little bit about me, how I got started. And now I want to dive into what we do as coaches. So changing gears a little bit, there are four main building blocks to this coaching business. And I want to walk you through each and every one of them. So first and foremost, I kind of touched on this. Number one is you are on your journey first. So you are committed to your own health and fitness and growth journey. So that's getting you started with a workout regimen, working on your nutrition, working on your personal goals, your, your mental mindset health. And within my coaching career, I could say, yes, I was already on that growth journey, trying to be on that, you know, mindset journey, but I am 1000% more accountable now because of coaching. So, and because working on me is number one, I'm able to find that balance, right? I'm, I'm really finding that balance with fitness and nutrition, learning what to eat, working towards being a better version of me every day and constantly growing my mind and pushing my limits. And I have that responsibility, right? To make sure that I get my workout done, that I'm on, on track with my nutrition, not saying I'm perfect, but I'm leading by example. So by me leading by example and holding myself accountable, that's ultimately how I help other people stay accountable in their goals too. So when it comes to coaching, that doesn't mean that you're perfect or have all the answers or have those washboard abs, right? It just means that you're committed to a fitness routine, 
you're starting or you're doing it from start to finish, you're being proof the products work, right? You're being proof to yourself and to your business by doing this fitness regimen and basically, you know, practicing what you preach. And there's ultimately no difference between you and your clients. And for that fact is because you are leading by example and you might may have been on a, a, the journey longer than them. So you have a little more experience, but by you showing up for your workouts, just like they are, you're not expected to train them in any way, right? We have our personal trainers and nutritionists and dietitians that create these amazing resources and create these incredible, credible programs through that expertise and certified um, credentials. So we have those professionals, we have the experts. What we are as coaches, we're more so those teachers and those accountability partners to others. So number one, first and foremost priority is to take care of yourself before you take care of anyone else or lead anyone else. Always lead by example through your journey. Okay. And with that, working on your personal journey, personal development is a core vital behavior in our business. And guys, like as coaches, I don't know any other career out there that tells you, you need to work on you first, right? And it's, it's incredible that we're on a growth journey from the inside out, leading by example, sharing with others our experiences of how our lives have changed and paying that forward to get other people on their growth journey too. So I'm not here just to make an income and to sell something. I'm here to change as a person and I'm here to pay that forward and help and impact other people to change their lives also. So personal development was something I thought was so rah-rah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't need that in my life. But that was like the one thing I did need for being on this you know, self-growth journey. I, I didn't listen to personal development before coaching and that was something that truly took my transformation to the next level. Over the past three years, I've taken a complete 180. I'm developing still as a person, as a wife, as a future mother, as a friend, and I really want to be the best individual that I can be for people that I love the most and those people that I interact with every day. So the second thing that we do as coaches is share our journey on social media. And I know that's probably really intimidating. You could be like, okay, like I don't post it all. That was me. <laughs> Maybe like you don't even have different social media platforms or you're never on social media or what have you. Like that was me. I didn't have Instagram when I got started. I was never on social media. I never did that selfie thing. Like I never took a picture of myself. I just wasn't a social media user at all. I had 500 friends on Facebook when I got started, <laughs> but social media really is a very important part of our job. It's not required, but it's a very important part of our job because we are able, able to reach more, more people a lot quicker, right? Yes, you could build your business in person. We have so many people on our team that builds their business in person, but just think how many people you could meet throughout the United States Canada and the United Kingdom through social media networks and platforms. Okay. So have an open mind to this. Again, we have incredible training that dives deeper into how to post to social media, how to share your story, how to share anything on, on social media and really, really just master that, that craft because it will ultimately be a business platform of yours. So, um, number three is, really building those relationships with people and, and helping other people. So, which means inviting them or starting conversations or putting yourself out there. And you might be sitting there again, having a mini panic attack. <laughs> You're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to talk to people. Um, that was me again, Miss Introvert. I am kind of socially awkward, <laughs> um, but I knew I had to get over that fear. If I wanted to help people, I had to put myself out there to be able to help people. So it's very normal to have, you know, that in initial fear or hesitation that I don't want to push people. Like, what, what is this? I don't want to sell anything. But the thing really is that 
you have to think of it as this is how I think of it. I love what we do. I love our mission and I feel so comfortable and so confident that I love talking to people because every single person is on some sort of health, fitness, life journey, right? Every single person has some sort of goal that they're working on, right? And whether you're super in shape or not in shape at all, I know that we have a solution for everyone. So I don't get uncomfortable anymore talking to people because I know that I have a gift and I have a solution to offer. And through that, I get to make new friends every day. <laughs> so I, I love it. And again, we'll teach you um, how to overcome maybe that intimidation factor of talking to people and, and how to talk to people. And also in our coach training, we're really going to decipher or kind of de debauch that, um, you know, the, the selling terminology and, you know, all of that that kind of um, those, those feelings of, of selling versus offering a solution and providing a service for someone because we we're change agents, right? We have that opportunity to be a part of someone's life transformation. And that is so, so powerful to me. So lastly is actually coaching them. And you, again, you don't need to be an expert. You just have to be that support, that cheerleader and that accountability partner. So you're going to lock arms with people who have a similar goal. Maybe who have reached out to you, you've reached out to them. Maybe your goals aren't a hundred percent similar, but they, they want your help or they just want to be held accountable together. You could go on that journey and reach those goals, your goals together. So you're really just an accountability partner to others. So how does that work? So if someone, again, reaches out to you, you reach out to them, um, they say that, you know, you look amazing, I love your energy, what are you doing, I need whatever you're doing in my life, you're gonna get them started just like you did on that fitness regimen with that nutritional program, providing them with all of our tools and resources that, that we have and put them through the same private virtual fitness boot camp that we run together as a team, our best life tribe. And what we do through that is share that motivation centered around our goals. We have daily check-ins to hold us accountable and we, we create this amazing community. So women don't feel like they're going through this alone, right? When we start something new and no one is around to support us or, or to cheer us on, we might feel lonely and, and quit or feel like we're not good enough, right? And this community is that life-changing agent that has us there together, doing this together, and our community is life-changing in itself. So you're working on you, getting yourself in the best shape from the inside out while sharing that on social media in order to inspire others. And once you've inspired them, to lock arms with them and help them reach their goals and change their lives. So thank you guys so much for tuning into video number one. Please email me with any questions you have. I would love to cover those in the videos to come. And thank you again for taking time out of your busy life and for watching this video and stay tuned for video number two.